विषयेन्द्रिय संयोगाग्रे मृतोपम परिणा विषमि तत्सुखम राजसम स्रुत that happiness is remembered as rajasik which comes from the contact of sense organ with its object is like nectar in the beginning but like poison in the end just the opposite so rajasik happiness is that happiness which comes from sense contact sense contact gives you instant pleasure when you eat rasmalai today you don't have to wait for 10 days to feel experience the enjoyment you get enjoyment here and now unlike sattvic happiness but if you continuously opt for instant pleasure which is done by the mind the mind thrives on instant pleasure the mind thrives on sense contact the mind thrives on anything that gives it happiness here and now the mind doesn't have the capacity to decipher that it will give pain in the end it just functions on likes and dislikes if you continuously fall for it and function on these likes and dislikes he says in the end you will get pain how does it function see you don't you can't just accept it because the gita has said it you have to work it out for yourself how does it happen take a look at our sense contact the first time the very first time you contact a sense object it gives you tremendous pleasure when the experience is fresh it gives you maximum pleasure right but every succeeding contact with the same object reduces the pleasure content in it until you reach a stage where the contact with the sense object no longer gives you pleasure when you indulge in it if you don't understand that see what happens with what mango no the best example is the first time you have a drink what happens or oh, if you haven't had a drink please don't go and have one now you might go home and say you know the gita says have a drink <laughs> the first time you have a drink what happens maja it gives you a thrill it makes you feel a little happier it makes you feel uh, the world is a better place to live in you know so what do you do you have a drink every day and by the time you've had that for a few days what happens i don't know the exact number of the days you reach a stage when when you have the drink nothing happens to you you don't feel the thrill anymore you don't feel that high the kick that's why they call it kick hmm? so what do you do double it you have two drinks and you regain the kick so you're very happy and you go on for a few more days and to your horror the pleasure goes again so what do you do you treble it and you keep on at it indulging in it till you could be drinking from morning to evening but it no longer gives you pleasure then why do you continue the contact because when you don't have it it gives you displeasure okay so you've landed in a situation where contact with the sense or object no longer gives you pleasure it gives zero pleasure but keeping away from the object gives you displeasure so you can you need to continue that contact and you've you've gotten to a stalemate here so you pick up another object the other object gives you a thrill first contact then you indiscriminately indulge in that contact until that con pleasure also goes away but denial gives you pain so thus you go moving from object to object till you've got this is called neutralization 
you've got completely neutralized to a whole range of sense objects. To maintain the contact, you need to put in a lot of effort, you need to earn a lot of money just to keep a home, a car, a whatever the objects you have around you. Why do you maintain the contact? Not because it gives pleasure, because when you are denied it, it gives you displeasure. So you have led your life in such a way that you've come to a stalemate right at the end of it. You say, you have a choice between no pleasure and displeasure. There is no happiness. Therefore, he says, it's poison in the end. And in addition to that, there are other consequences to all these what you call as addictions in life. It's not just to alcohol. There's several other addictions. So the question is, how do you avoid this? You don't go home and say, anything that gives me instant pleasure, I say no to. So you please don't go home and tell your wife, oh wife, you're giving me pleasure, so the Gita says keep away from you. <laughs> there are only two categories of people in the world. One, the majority, indulge in the world, they lose the pleasure, they don't know what's happening, and they get depressed. The other category, so-called spiritual, wrongly understand spirituality, and they keep away from the objects of the world, they also get depressed because they, there is no fulfillment. So whether you are indulge in the world or you follow the so-called spiritual practices, all categories of people are depressed. The, how do you go about it? Number one, bring your intellect into place. Let the intellect guide all your sense contact so that there is what is called as regulated contact with the world. When you do that, your honeymoon with life never ends. Till the last day of your life, you are as excited about every sense contact as a child is. That's why they say, a man of realization or a person of realization is balavat, childlike. It is true that as you evolve spiritually, you have this childlike approach to the world where you can enjoy everything that the world has to offer because you're viewing it afresh, as if it were the first experience of your life. Second, identify your weaknesses. See, luckily for us, we don't have a weakness for all five senses as Shankaracharya says in the Viveka Chudamani. We have a weakness for only one or two. There are people who, have, who are totally disciplined as far as food is concerned. You know, the modern generation, the youngsters, they want to be uh, slim, what do they call it? Size zero. Huh? You're familiar with it. Size zero they maintain. So as far as food is concerned, totally disciplined. But talking, once they start talking, they never end. Or something else. Identify, spot your weakness. And in that area, be extra vigilant. Keep away until you regain, uh, until you gain the strength with which to contact the sense objects. So this is how you overcome your weaknesses. And now we'll take a look at tamasic happiness. <laughs> 